Call time. Oh, that's great. Excuse me. How about that? I'm back in New York City. And today's video is a very, very special video. So I'm interrupting the Thailand travel series, coming back to New York. This is real time. This happened maybe a day ago. So about two months ago, this channel got nominated for Vlogger of the Year at the Shorty Awards, which is just incredible. The fact that this channel, that we, you and I, this community, got nominated for an award at the Shorty. We're getting ready sort of now, and a lot of people were asking, you know, Eric, who are you gonna bring to the Shorty Awards as your date? My date for the Shorty Awards is right behind this wall as we speak, getting all glammed up. I had a glam squad come to my apartment to do hair, makeup, the works. So she's back there right now. Do you want to see who it is? I mean, you probably know. If Here's the thing. I know these videos have been pretty delayed as far as real time. If you want the kind of real time interaction that those daily vlogs used to have, follow me on Instagram because Instagram story has more or less replaced the daily vlog. And I like it a lot more. It's more organic. Let's go meet my date. Wait, this oh, is your first time seeing me? Oh. What do you think? Oh, my, I love it. Oh, I, oh, look at my hair. Oh, you look great, Mom. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Now I really, I'm really excited because you know what? This, this. <laughs> what I, I felt like this? a specimen. <laughs> I was like a specimen. But this makes me feel like I should start wearing makeup. This is 53. How we This is what 53 looks like. You're 53? 33? What? <laughs> I wish, right? All right, I'm gonna film something really fast. I wanna to try to fully document today as much as possible just because I haven't really filmed a video which is like fully encompassing a day in a long time. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. My mom is all made up and now it's my turn to go get made up. I have a little bit of an announcement. Last week I signed with Ford Models again. It's funny because last month was my four year anniversary of living in New York City and I moved here originally signed with Ford Models. With all that said, I'm actually going to the agency right now to get fitted for a suit for the Shorty Award. Super excited. Their offices are so nice. A little nervous though. A little Why are you nervous? Bit, I don't know. This is, this is, I'm so out of my element. You, do you see how you look right now? But I'm so You're nervous. Don't, don't, don't show, I don't have my heels on yet. No. Don't we show. I'm not wearing these shoes. <laughs> nice shoes. We are here at Ford Models in the office. It's actually a Sunday today, so they are closed. But nicely enough, look who we have here. My name is Michael, Michael Fusco, and I am a stylist that's working with Eric on this project. We are getting all ready for the Shorty Awards, and we are gonna be going through a few different designers. Um, David Hart. Yeah, let's do this. This is, I guess, my first collab with Ford, and we've just been trying on a bunch of outfits. And I think we're gonna go with this shirt here. This is a very Ryan Gosling-esque suit. It's not even a full suit. It's more kind of like a casual loungewear type of jazz club vibe. Like I'm here to party, but I'm also here to look good. Uh, I, this is a cool little experience, though, getting dressed up for the awards. This is so awesome. I love this. <laughs> He loved the fashion. We are all decked out. Thank you to Michael for dressing me and styling me. We're about to head to the theater now. Oh, this one right here. Oh, stop it. We got it. Next stop is the PlayStation Theater. We just got here to the Shorty Awards. It is absolute madness. This is kind of like the red carpet check-in area. They're not gonna let my mom walk the red carpet with me. That's kind of upsetting. That's okay. Uh, you know what? That's okay. All right, I am here with Miss Sarah Dietschy and Mr. Eric Conover. Okay. Okay, awesome. How are you guys doing this evening? So good. You guys are here. You are sitting hometown. That's hometown. Hear me, but look who we found at the shorties. Hey, we're 
enjoy the intermission. So much fun. I love it here. It has been crazy. There's so many people here. It's an amazing time. There's an open bar, so I've had a few Dr. Peppers. And great food. Yeah, this is for you. After you. <laughs> like, well, hello. Hello. <laughs> we are in an Uber now, and we are going to go meet with a friend for dinner, and then potentially go to the after party. And I'm going to go to bed. What are you old or something? <laughs> yeah. You're going to bed? I know. We're just. Uh... Oh, there it goes. Uh -huh. We're having such a good time last night. I just kind of stopped filming, but this is goodbye. I know. I don't know when am I going to see you again. I'll see you after I get back from Europe. Okay. Going to Europe soon. I know. But uh, life. this is this is goodbye. I Thank know. you for being my date. I know. I loved it. Oh, best son ever. Best. Well, son best ever. son ever. What? <laughs> I have a little brother too. So Dylan, if you're watching this, one of this, my best sons ever. One of them. <laughs> Bubba's the best. Don't put this in, please. Get home safe. Okay. I came with my mom to the Lincoln Tunnel, and I have my bike in the back. I'm gonna bike to Central Park now. Thanks for coming me to the tunnel. Yeah, of course. All right, I gotta get my bike out. Okay. All right. All right. Love you. Love you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. That's all she wrote. Mosey on in. I have to say the best part of last night was seeing the look on my mom's face. My mom was so happy to just get, you know, dressed up for an event, wear a dress, get her hair and makeup done, to meet my friends in New York City because she's actually never met my friends in New York in real life. And I, I mean, I just seen her face made it yesterday. My mom was so happy and I know my dad, dad, if you are watching this, I tried so hard to get a ticket for the shorties for you next year. If I get nominated again for the shorties, if we get nominated again, mom and dad, you are both coming as my dual dates to the shorties and and dad you gotta come on a trip with me you gotta come on a trip i know your passport's sitting there collecting dust we're gonna go on a trip and i'm talking to you specifically right now and a lot of other people are probably watching but I, we're gonna go on a trip to fill you in we didn't win vlogger of the year unfortunately david dobrik won david dobrik is a genius he is like the jerry seinfeld of 2017. for me subscribers and views and awards don't really mean a whole lot and it's really interesting because I know the past few videos have been very, very inconsistent. The uploading hasn't been there. The thing is though, I've been making videos that I'm really excited to put out. I've been making things that I've been dreaming about. Sometimes you gotta go on your own adventures. I'm in full travel mode. I didn't even wear shoes. Oh my gosh. Would you look at this? Last night was very surreal. It was one of those moments where my goals that I set out two years ago, I think it was two or three years I set out to, you know, to be a YouTuber, to travel the world, to work with cool companies that I supported and to, to just have, have a career in video. And last night I kind of pinched myself and it, it's more or less happened. There's no one defined path to success in whatever you want to do. You have to believe that you can actually do it because no one else is going to believe it. No one else is going to believe that an idea you have in here could potentially one day be your reality. So you have to believe it enough to make it happen. I mean, I just want to sit down now and I don't say this enough and I feel like a lot of people who make videos and put them on the internet don't say this enough. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for watching these videos. I want to thank you for commenting. I want to thank you if I've met you in person for saying hi, for letting me know how these videos have affected your life or what they mean to you, even if they mean nothing at all, even if you love them or you hate them. As far as what's next for this channel, I'm going to go back to the Thailand videos. I have five more Thailand videos. They get very, very good. It's Songkran. I'm in Bangkok. It's crazy. Then after that, I'm in New York City for two weeks. Two weeks here, then I'm going to Norway for an event for five days, speaking at a conference. After that, back to New York, and then potentially I'm going to Italy. That's right, Italy. I've never been to Italy in my whole life. That's about all I have to say. I know it's kind of wordy. Hopefully you're typing back in the comments and, and whatnot, and this is a conversation. If you like today's video, thumbs up right here in the corner. Pause it, give it a little tap for a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you like today's vlog, today's vlog is a very mellow vlog. I've actually, this is the most at peace I've been in a very long time. I know a lot of times I can be super high strung and super just go, go, go. And I feel like a lot of times on YouTube nowadays, the videos and the, the vlogs that are really taking off, people are just going insane. They're screaming, oh, what's up? My name's Eric. 
welcome to today's vlog. They're, they're talking like that to the camera. They are screaming into the camera. And that's not my style. I'm a very laid back dude. So I'm going to keep being laid back. And I'm going to keep traveling and sharing these videos. And I hope you're liking them. And with that note, I will see you tomorrow from Thailand. Back to the Thailand series. So until tomorrow, everyone, remember to smile more, worry less, and live your passion and your dreams will come true if you stick with something long enough. And then when you get to that point, you got to start making new dreams.